Welcome everybody, welcome to our second week of the, our Divine Direction Sermon Series and our Connect Group material. Hope you enjoyed last week and the discussion you had in your Connect Groups. Now, in week two, I want to look at something amazing. I want to look at the word wisdom. So many times we, we're looking for wisdom in so many places. But this week, I want to look at the wisdom that God gives. God is the source of all wisdom. Did you know that? Whenever we ask God for wisdom, He will give it to us. I love the story of Solomon, where Solomon came to God and had to offer an oxen because he just became king. Now, Solomon was so passionate in worshipping God, he gave an extraordinary offering with a thousand oxen. So much more than he actually had to do. But with that extravagant gift, God came to, to Solomon back in, in a dream and he actually asked him, Solomon, choose whatever you want. And Solomon came back and said, Lord, I want to be a wise king. I want to make wise decisions for the people that's, that, that I'm leading. So I choose wisdom. And because he chose wisdom, God gave him so much more. Because he had the wisdom to do and to handle everything that God has given him. Now, in Sunday's message, we looked at three very important truths. That, to help us to make good decisions by getting wisdom from God. We looked at the word walk, ask, and decide. Now in Proverbs 13 verse 20 it says, Walk with the wise and become wise, for a companion of fools suffer harm. I love the word, it says walk with the wise. It didn't say stay with the wise. It said journey with the wise. Share life with the wise. And as you pull people around you, wisdom will flow into your life. Are there people around you that give you wisdom, that as you speak to them, as you journey with them, as you celebrate or cry with them, it's so important. See, we all know when you hang out with the wrong crowd, it rubs off on you. And it's so important to have a good crowd around you. People that can encourage and build you. Now we've got a question I want you to discuss today in the first discussion, as, as, as I just said. The question is, who is someone who was a wise influence during the time or a time of tough decision in your life? Okay, the second truth that we're going to look at today is to ask. Remember, we started with walk. Who are you walking with? And the second truth is to ask. With so many options in life today, we, we can get wisdom from, from any place. We can get wisdom from Cosmopolitan. We can get wisdom from Dr. Phil or even from YouTube that we so many, so many of us actually go to YouTube on a daily basis to get wisdom. But we need to ask God. Why? Because God is the source of all wisdom. Did you know that? James 1 verse 5 says the following, If you need wisdom, ask our generous God, and He will give it to you. He will not rebuke you for asking. See, through the scriptures, we see God playing the role as a guide and as an advisor in our lives. If you look at Psalm 23, it says that God is a great shepherd. And what does shepherds do? They guide, they advise, they, they, they keep us safe. And so many times in our life, we come to a place where we need a decision and a wise decision to make. And we need to ask God for that guidance in our life. Now, the question I want you to ask each other and to discuss in your group right now is share about a time God gave you wisdom both as a guide and advisor. So the third truth we want to look at now is to go over into action. We want to decide. Firstly, we've discussed to walk with other people. Who are you walking with the wise? Secondly, are you asking God for guidance and trusting Him? And then thirdly, we must go over to decide. You see, now the biggest weapon of the enemy against us while we made the or if we made the decision while we're making a decision is to bring doubt in the picture. You see, whenever we doubt, what happens? We start to fear. Are we making the right decision? Are we making a mistake right here? You see, wherever there is fear, faith cannot be. Because God is the author of faith and the enemy is the author of doubt. Now we need to get to a place and say, Lord, if I, if I don't want to doubt, you need to give me something to help me not to doubt. So God gave us a secret weapon called peace. I love the scripture in Philippians 4 that says, Do not be anxious about anything, but by prayer and petition and thanksgiving, bring your request to God. And then he says, and I will give you the peace that surpasses all understanding, guarding your heart and your mind. Isn't that a great promise from God? 
Whenever we doubt, whenever we come to a place, we can trust God to give us peace in that situation, to guard our hearts and our minds. Now today, finishing our connect group, I want us to, to be vulnerable with each other by sharing what do you need wisdom in right now in your life. I think so many of us need wisdom in our life. What are you trying to decide right at the moment? Is there any big decisions you are going through right now? And then number three, very important, let's pray for each other. Let's trust God to, to make a difference this week in terms of wisdom in our lives as we pray and trust God together. Enjoy.